is up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Furman BMW, sunny Palm Harbor, Florida, because of course, if I'm gonna feature a BMW, I got a good one. This is a 2019 BMW M850i xDrive. So let's talk a little bit about the 8 Series. 20, it's been about 20 years since there's been an 8 Series coupe. Guess what? Things have changed. Under the hood of this one is not a V12 like the outgoing one. Under the hood of this one is a V8 engine, twin turbocharged, 523 horsepower. That's going to make this thing rocket 0 to 60 in about 3.8 seconds. That is just mind-blowing how the performance has got to this point. But where did BMW start? Where did they get their beginnings? It goes all the way back to 1916. They were making airplane engines. Then in 1923, motorcycles. And then finally in 1928, they started making cars. And thank God they did because we wouldn't be standing here in front of this one. So let's dive in to the 2019 BMW M850i. Love the aggressiveness from the front of this thing. This thing looks like it's gonna chew you up and spit you out. I love the very slim, these are LED laser headlights. You could see that traditional halo lighting around the headlights that goes back for so many decades. As we transition down, of course, all this is gonna be functional. I don't even need a look. This is all functional. You have side scoops over here that's gonna channel air down the side of the car. And as you go across the front of this menacing A50i, there's that kidney-shaped grill. Now, it has changed a little bit since that first 1928 model, but you can still see the kidney shape. I know many people are calling this butterfly shape, but I like this flat silver grill as you work your way down, all wide open to get that air into that radiator, into the intercoolers to produce all that power. Remember, this is no feather light uh, when it comes to performance vehicles. So to get a, you know zero to 60 in sub four seconds, there's a lot going on here. As we transition up onto the hood, love the body lines. You have two very muscular straight lines in the center, and then you have a nice curve on each side. Really hits the nail on the head, especially in this black. As we wrap it around the side, here's where the magic happens. Now remember, I was telling you BMW LED laser lighting. I like the way they have that logo in there. And then this one is gonna have the M package on it. So, because remember, it's an M850. Is it a true M car? No, but you do get a lot of performance accessories. So when you start off with these wheels, these wheels are wrapped in those Pilot Sport, Michelin Pilot Sport 3 tires. Great tire, gonna give you grip, but it's also gonna give you that performance. And then check out these wheels. I love the design. I love the brushed aluminum, the gloss black, and then those massive, calipers with the M logo on it. If you ever wonder, well, what does M stand for? It's all about motorsport. And that's what I really, really like about the setup on this particular car. Unfreaking believable. As we go into the fender, I like the work that they did with that design of that fender. It almost mimics it, the, 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 the venting of what's going on with the front grill, sort of that butterfly look, but that is a beautiful piece and just looks so right on the side of this car. Very, very slim roof line. I like how low the greenhouse is, makes it look just so aerodynamic. And then as we drop down, love this lower sill panel here. I think this was smart, gives it some nice character. It's also gonna be a functional piece. All of this is about aerodynamics. Here's another touch. It's got that same flat silver from the front of the grill, from the side vent. It's also on that side mirror. You can see the ultra thin LED turn signals there. And then as we bring it our way to the back of the car, you can see just how beautiful these wheels are. That's a 20 inch wheel. The rear tires, 275, 30 series. Perfect setup on this thing, especially with the X drive, you're gonna get the power to the ground. As we work our way to the back, very tasteful, very slim, kick up spoiler. I would like to see this. If this has an M badge on it, I would like to see this in carbon fiber. I think that it would just, I don't know, give it that little extra magic, especially up front, maybe a little carbon fiber front uh, spoiler, lip spoiler up there. And then to wrap it out the back, they really went aggressive with the rear end. Now, 
With this particular model, you can see that these vents are fake, so I am gonna zonk it. I wish if they just left the plastic out and left the design just all painted, I think it would still work and you wouldn't have to worry about a plastic piece in there. Great looking tail lights. I even like how they did the flat silver with the badging. So you have your M logo, that motorsport logo, so much tradition when it comes to those three colors. 850i, my biggest problem with the rear end of this car is this right here. Why does this need to be here? It's not functional. It's not even part of the exhaust. You can see the dual exhaust that's deep down in there. I would take this right off and bring that dual exhaust right to the tip and put some nice finished ends on it. I think it would fit it so much better than what you're seeing there because from certain angles, you could see that it's not real. I do like this area here, even though this is not functional, it gives the rear end of the car a little extra personality. And so many BMWs have this type of design and it kind of ties in the whole family heritage. You could see the height of the rear trunk from the, where it opens to the top portion. So you're gonna definitely get a lot of kick up as that air is coming down, but just really aggressive and definitely 21st century styling at the back of this 850i. Let's go check out that twin turbo V8 underneath the hood. All right, guys, there's the heart of this animal. That's a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine. Like I said, putting out 523 horsepower, 553 foot pounds of torque. Unbelievable, zero to 60, 3.8 seconds. Top speed, 155 miles an hour. This screams M performance, even though it's not a true M car. There is gonna be an M8 that is coming soon, but for right now, this is definitely giving you a lot of bang when it comes to that performance dollar and really separates you from the rest of that, I call this that GT crowd. And not like as in Mustang GT, but just that grand touring because inside you do have four seats. This is not a two seat car. And as you can see, it's a little on the larger side compared to say a Porsche 911. But these things race in the IMSA WeatherTech series and you gotta see them go up against the 911 RSRs, the Corvette C7R, the Ford GTs, really a lot of magic. But let's go ahead and fire up this twin turbo V8. guys we're inside the BMW M850i this is pretty amazing I'm not gonna lie now if you're asking me now Joe what does this cost all this amazingness what does it cost it's an MSRP of $116,000 the way that it sits exactly as you see it let's get to the business and see what you get check out the door panels very smart that door panel would stink if that silver trim wasn't there. So I'm glad to see the silver trim across the top up there. You have that wonderful leather at the top of the door panel near the base of the window. Beautiful silver across the speaker cover, across the door handle there and around all the switch gear. Nice leather on the arm, uh, the door pull and also on the armrest. It could be a little softer. I would like to see that be a little softer. Coming into the dash, very, very nice leather material all the way around. Check out our infotainment screen. Unbelievable. So you could use that BMW iDrive system, which let me go ahead and get back to home here. And then once I get back to home, now you could use that rotary dial. We could go into car. Oh, there is our BMW M850i and it's featured in that same black. We could go into vehicle status, you can see tire pressure monitor, engine oil levels, any type of uh, you know things that we have to get checked out, the service schedule, all that information, all from the touch of a finger. If you want navigation, there's our navigation. Very easy to use, very, very intuitive. I really like it. Here's another thing. You get three driver modes. So you put in sport. There's the red we always see with sport. Yeah, we're ready to race. Red means race. You have comfort which is that standard setting. And then you're gonna have this Eco Pro mode, which is all about efficiency. Now what's great about when you put in sport, active adaptive suspension. So the suspension is going to get softer 
or stiff, more stiff, considering what mode that you're in. As we transition down, check this out. I press this button here, there's all of our intelligent safety features. So if I wanna go into configure, I could go and turn on and off, side collision warning, lane departure. You could do the sensitivity. Do you want it medium? You want it early? You want it reduced? You want it off? It's all done through the iDrive control. Very, very easy to use, understand. I really, really like it. And there we are back to the, the home screen. As we transition down, you got your dual climate. I'm loving the style and the switch gear on the even the simplest things like the AC vents. You have ventilated and heated seats. Look at this, it comes up on the screen. Very, very nice touch. I'm really digging that right now. I'm gonna put it on because it's kind of warm here. Slim and trim on the stereo as it should be. There's gloss black. Somebody brought up a good point. If you don't like gloss black, don't touch it. There you go, if you're worried about finger fingerprints. You have this uh, wood uh, cover here, and I like the covers. You open it up, two cup holders. You have a 12 volt and USB. My only problem is it's right by where the, your drinks are. So what's that gonna be like when you spill a drink in there? I'll let you figure that out. I'm not gonna test that here on Radies Rides. Another thing is this, where do you put this? Yeah, put it in your mouth, throw it in the back seat. I, don't, I wish there was just a lid, just a regular lid that would flip open, flip back. You got wireless charging when you close it, very nice. That's what I'm talking about in all my reviews, guys. Check this command center out. It's got this, you ever seen the movie The Dark Crystal, going back to the 80s? There's this crystal shifter, crystal, on the iDrive control, you can see the eight in there. This is that eight-speed ZF, eight-speed automatic gearbox, really slick shifting. We're gonna take this for a drive, I promise you. There's our M logo. Even the start-stop button has that dark crystal appearance to it. I'm really digging it, and it's reminded me of my childhood. As we continue back, Bombay doors. Now, the, the leather's great, it's just not soft, like I guess, in Germany, they don't like saw your elbow resting on something soft, but that looks amazing. You press the button, bombs away. You can put anything you need in here. You got USB, you got another one of these suckers. That means there's a 12 volt in there. And then you just close it up nice. And then right here, the big bang for the buck is are these seats. Not only are they supportive, they're comfortable and the style on them make them look so 21st century, so elegant, all in one shot full electric assist, so obviously there's gonna be no issue with that. This does not have a sunroof, so that is a surprise at an MSRP of $116,000. But remember, without a sunroof, you're gonna have a structure that's more rigid, and that's what this thing is about. It's gonna handle like nobody's business. Come on over to the business end, and I'm gonna show you some action behind the wheel. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are, the business end. I love the silver trim down here. This lights up. I promise you, you just can't see it right now because it's kind of bright. You can see all the seat controls on the side right here. Very, very nicely done. I feel that bolstering. Check out the pedals. They give you a nice size dead pedal. Now, if you're wondering what is the purpose of a dead pedal, it's there to support you. When you're doing your hard cornering, you're gonna wanna have your foot here and keeping you in place. I absolutely love this BMW steering wheel. I wanna take it home with me and hug it when I sleep because I love the thickness of it. I love the style. You got that M logo. I wish they would have done the M in, uh, stitching all the way around, the contrast stitching. That would have looked spot on. What is spot on though is that dash. Check out, it's digital, speedometer on the left, fuel gauge, and then on the right, I have it set up with a G meter. It also does your tachometer. Plus, you could put your navigation right there smack dab in the center. Beautiful, well done. You do have paddles to get you through that eight-speed automatic. What I like about the paddles is that they're inward, so you're not gonna have to worry about when you're working the wheel and doing the business, you're not gonna accidentally hit it. Some cars, they bring it too close to the edge of the wheel, and you might accidentally bump it. Other than that, seating position's great. Lots of headroom in here. Let's check out and see if Joe Rady can fit in the back seat of an M850i. Let's go do it. All right, guys, like I was saying, this is more that GT Grand Touring style type of car. It's got back seats. Let's see who could sit in them. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. On the back of the seat, I don't know if Tom could show you through the window here, is this little leather tab. You're just gonna pull up on it, push the seat forward, 
and then what it's gonna do is electrically move out of the way. Here comes that moment we've all been waiting for, six foot me getting in that little space. So let's see how it goes, wish me luck. We climb on in, once we're in, I'm gonna fall on back. And yeah, this is, um, this is not enjoyable. It's uh, very cramped in here. I'm, I'm gonna have to go this route, I think. But the problem is, is the seat has such a bucket to it. Like my rear end, I feel like I'm sitting in a bucket. And I can't even, it doesn't even feel comfortable. At least like in the back of a Camaro or Mustang, you could do this and you're like, all right, just get me to the store, to the mall, whatever, and I'll be fine. But this is, this is kind of painful. So hopefully if you have somebody sitting back here, they're not a very large person. But let's go ahead and see, it's tight back here. Let's go see what we could put in the trunk of this M850i. All right, guys, time to pop the trunk on the back of the, eight, the M850i. So it's all electric. There it goes, power trunk. Surprisingly, quite a bit of room. Now the problem is you don't have a lot of height, but there's definitely a lot of depth. Plus those seats are gonna split down for you, perfect to where you could have even longer items. So even though this car is all about performance, even though it's fast as heck, you're able to take it and use it as a daily driver no matter what you're doing. And then at the end of the day, you just press the button, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this M850i for a drive. All right, guys, we're in the 2019 BMW M850i. What a special treat. Love the layout of the dash like I showed you earlier. This one has ventilated seats, so I'm happy to have them on in this little bit of a warmer springtime day. But uh, we're about to roll out from Furman BMW with that twin turbo V8 underneath the hood. Here we go. Rolling out, getting on it. That all wheel drive lays down the traction. It is a rocket ship. This thing is surprising because remember, she's no lightweight, but boy, with over 500 horsepower, 523 horsepower to be exact, that eight speed automatic transmission and the all wheel drive lays the traction down and you are like a Tomahawk cruise missile off of a naval battleship. That's what I just felt like. Visibility is actually surprisingly good. I thought maybe with the longer hood, there would be some issues, but not at all. Side windows are great, even the back window. So this is not like a Camaro one bit. You actually have some really great visibility here. I wish the exhaust sound was a little bit louder in the cockpit here. Um, I do have it in sport, which remember this does have that adaptive suspension, which is going to stiffen everything up. And to do the sport, you just hit the button right there and it shows off right on the side there. So, but boy, power is instantaneous. Let me go ahead and make a right hand turn here and see how she handles. 20 inch wheels, all oh, nice. Wow. Wow. Heads up display has given me the information that I need. It's allowing me to stay focused. I love, even though this doesn't have a DCT, the transmission is shifting like a dream. Up shifts fast, down shifts fast. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into manual mode. And it's showing in the bottom right hand corner, I'm in fourth gear. Now I'm in third on the throttle. Very, very nice. Brakes, those huge calipers biting down on those rotors. I'm telling you, you can stop on a dime and just give the rest of your money away. That's how good the brakes are in this thing. It's amazing. This is a sick machine. It really, really is. I'm not gonna lie one bit. Now, like I said, that MSRP of $116,000 does open the door for some other choices, but you know what? This thing is pretty potent. That's for sure. Quiet cabin, nice and smooth.
very, very nice. Very, very nice, very smooth. Really just liking the overall drive behind the wheel of this M850i. Turn in is great. Wow. It's crazy because when you turn in, she really quickens up on you. And I just heard a pop from this from the exhaust back there. I would like a little bit more of that. So if I'm gonna zonk it, I want a little bit more grumble from that exhaust. You hear it every now and then when you get out of the throttle, just a little bit more, at least in sport. Let it be quiet in uh, comfort mode or eco mode. It's so smooth though. Very, very smooth. Acceleration test. This thing's a rocket. It's a rocket. That's what's great about all-wheel drive is that, you know, you lay down the loud pedal and the all-wheel drive does the work for you. And that traction gets to the pavement. All right, guys, dead stop, acceleration. I have it in first gear. This thing is a rocket ship. It really, really is. Un believable the technology the performance and everything else is just so great in this m850i let's see how she handles down a twisty section of road here and see how she does Like, I love the feedback from the front end. It really is communicating well. Let me test out this right left bend here. Very nice. Wow. So smooth. And the way it gives you feedback from the front end and the rear end of the car is very, very, it communicates perfect to your frontal lobe of your brain. It really does. And your sensory neurons are loving this steering wheel. I promise you that. Brakes feel great, downshift. I like the way it transfers the weight really nice, holds a line perfect on the brakes. Very, very nice. It is unbelievable, this car, unbelievable. All right guys, just driving around. I'll put it in eighth gear, manual mode. Very nice everywhere you look, everywhere you touch. I wish the armrests were a little bit softer, but I am just nitpicking um, because overall, it, this is one top performer. And you know, Tom and I were just talking about this, like what is the M8 gonna look like? And how is that gonna perform? Because I have a feeling that might have over 600 horsepower. And right now with the 523, I couldn't imagine this car having 600 horsepower with just how fast it is. But uh, really, really just loving the overall feel, the feedback, BMW has hit this one out of the park when it comes to just how you feel as a driver behind the wheel of this car. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up and we will be back in a split second at Furman BMW. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day here at Furman BMW. Definitely gotta give a huge shout out to Alan and everybody else out here at the dealership allowing us access to amazing vehicles that BMW is making today. If these are the types of things that you like to see in Radies Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Check out my different forms of social media. You know what they're called. It's all Radies Rides original content all the time. If you want to get yourself some merch, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. And then, of course, we got to thank Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, in between shots, lifting some weights, lifting some palm trees, doing his thing. If you want to see what his thing is, check out his new photography Instagram page. It's called at Mosh Photos. You'll see the warmth, the softer side of Tom, which not many people get to see. So check that out. Thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.